M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're getting the RT3S soon, dual band, or same as MD380. And we're going to be adding the OpenGD77 firmware. There's a vast amount of functions on that. So first thing I like to do is sort of practice doing it. So if I've managed to download the CPS or programming software. I'll put links in as well for you. And also the firmware and the firmware updater ETC. And I've got this very good page with a video here from Roger talking you through it step by step and also instructions further down so all these links will be in the description the first thing i'm going to do is have a little practice so i'm going to open the programming software and i'm going to do exactly as i was told and that is firstly go and i haven't got the radio so we'll get an error at the very end we'll go radio type and you choose md9600 and uv380 that's the one you want okay then you go to extras go down and go to Firmware loader. You've got a couple of links here. Look, download call base, call sign database, open G. We will look at them. But anyway, first of all, we we'll go to firmware loader. Okay. And now we've been told now that to in in this bottom section here, it says select official firmware donor file. We need to select that as the MD9600, and we have downloaded that firmware. And again, I will add that the link to download that firmware in the description. But I'll show you first. So let's just cancel because I do think that's quite important that you see that. So if you go to this section here, let's find it and then scroll down. That firmware is here, the bit that says passion, passion radio it takes you straight there and it will just download the bin file, I suppose it's called for the MD9600. The reason they've done that is because it's just it's the same you know, work involved in doing that. So they've said, well, why do it all again? Let's just use it. And so that's what they're doing. So if you look back here, let's go back to where we were. So we'll go extras, firmware loader, and we're gonna select that. And we've saved that file uh, in, in a file on my computer, of course. Uh, and it, there it is there, MD9600 CSV 2571V5. And that's the one there, double click that. And it puts it in there and it gives you a message. The official firmware file has been verified and the open firmware uploads will now have a DMR functionality. So click OK. Then the next thing you do is click the bottom section. So when you're going to select the top part here, select open firmware file and update, you click the MDV, MDUV380 RT3S and select it like so. And then it will give you the chance to go to the file where you've saved it. And again, I've downloaded this from these links here. If you look here, there's the CPS and then this right hand link, which I will head it as firmware. You click, go for the open MD UV 380 bin. That's the one you want. So back to the thing here and then you get this list and it looks like it's the, the one you actually want is for the MD 380. So that's the 9600. So we go back to desktop. We're going to find where I saved it in my folder here. And this time ignore the 9600. We want the open MDUV380 bin, double click. Okay, and now it's going to try and put my rate, send it to my radio. It can't do that because on the MD380, you have to turn off the radio, hold in the PTT and the button underneath, turn on the radio, the LED flashes green and uh, red, and then it will allow me then to send the firmware to the radio. And then that's the end of this video. And my next video will be showing you what happens once your screen reboots and it has, has this black and white screen with lots of fuzzy numbers, what you need to do. But this again, it's just M0FXB diary. It's a learning video for myself. Um, it's not an ins a tutorial video to tell you how to do it. It's just showing you that I practice things before I actually do them. And, I, I, and because you're watching my diary, this is what I've been doing today. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. I mean, look, check out the GD77 firmware. I just think it just adds a lot of fun. Do I need, do we need, you know, do I need it with the, some of the excellent radios I've got? Well, of course I don't need it, but am I learning loads? Is this great fun? Yes, big time. And that's why... Um, ham radio operators uh, have the licensing uh, ability to tinker and play with different devices and these are all the different screens that you get and if you scroll down you know there's all kinds of stuff here time slots talk groups color codes um, different brightness look even satellite apparently there's a satellite tracker built into this um, signal meter battery time date location it goes on and on temperature battery last heard 
uh, thanks to all these people, by the way, <laughs> Roger, Daniel, Dimitri, Colin, Alex, Kai, and I'm sure more. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. So I'm just enjoying it, having fun. So bye for now, 7-3. Catch you on air. All the best.